It feels a lot easier, actually. Yeah, it's moving a lot better. Sound therapy is a complementary therapy which cranial visceral osteopath Lynn Bridgeford finds useful in some circumstances. All right, what I'd like to do is, if you'd like me to, is have a look with some sound, do some sound therapy around the baby. Mm -hmm. See if in response he might move or she might move. Okay, so all you need to do is just lay down. <coughs> What I'll be doing is just using some tuning forks and making some noise around you and then depending on where I hear something that might sound not quite as in harmony as it could be then I'll, with the sound, choose a fork and let you hear it and then put it on your body. Okay. But more than likely I'll just wave them around you and baby. Okay. So if the noise is disturbing, just let me know. I don't think there's any scientific evidence of what it does, although having had treatment myself, I can feel tremendous changes in my body from having sound therapy done to me, where with a vertebra will move without being manipulated. It depends what you're, what you're linking into when you're working. And basically, first of all, when I clear the system down, it's almost like dusting. You know, doing your housework, clearing the system down. So just to calm the body down, calm the system with uh, a C and a G. So that's a fifth, which is a very harmonious interval. And then using that to find out where there's disharmony in the body. It's quite a subtle thing, sometimes less so. And you hear there's a, a disharmony. And you can get that when you first hit the forks, which is why sometimes I'm careful and do it again. There is a certain amount of intuition with it as well, obviously, and feeling what you're doing and feeling the vibration. And then finding out which particular fork the vibration will change again, depending on what you're looking for. And does this have a calming effect on the baby? Is, is that what it's meant to do? Or? Yeah, just <clears throat> balancing. You've got a, a frequency around what feels where the baby is, mm -hmm. and then along that curve, finding where they point so it sounds like there's a disharmony, and then just gently working with that with the sound, and check and if it's gone, go on to the next one. Mm -hmm. So the idea is just bringing balance, harmony, release, stress and tension. I mean, fetuses have stress like we do. Yeah. Or well, different stress, but... <laughs> I'm going to give birth to a cosmic baby, aren't I? I'm sure you are. Yeah, they call it Sky or something, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I liked that one. Hmm. Looking up. That's where the head is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. and he's kicking here. Either that way, he hates it. He's like, stop! <laughs> What we'd, we'd like to make space for the message we want to give to baby and can, is to bring your head down here and kick mm -hmm. here. That's the best position we yeah. want to be in eventually. It seems to help babies to move when they're not moving well. It seems to calm the mothers. Children love it. They, they, I've, I've seen kids just go dead still. So um, it's a part of what I do when it, when it feels necessary. I don't know if you can hear that, but it all sounds much more harmonious now. Peaks in it. Mm -hmm.